Om Shanti, today is your 157th day of your quarterly blessing and before we go ahead, just click on the link above where you'll find various yogasans, fitness, sitting on chair and doing your yoga and at the same time what to eat, what not to eat and how to sleep better. Have a look at this. So let's go ahead with today's blessing. In today's blessing, Baba is trying to say that our dharma and our karma, that means our actions and what we imbibe have to be similar. Otherwise, we are not doing any elevated karma. Our karmas are very simple and they are not as compared to divinity that God wants us to have. So let's see what God wants us to have in this beautiful Vartan. Baba says, May you keep a proper balance between your dharma, that means religion, and your karma and thereby have a divine and an elevated intellect. So in God's eyes, a soul who is doing every karma as per their dharma is a divine soul. Now here, the difference is that we think that religion or dharma means that if I'm wearing a cross or if I'm wearing a bindi or if I'm, or if I'm wearing a kufi or if I'm wearing a turban, then only I'm going to be somebody who's dharmic. God says that's what you're doing outside. I want you to change inwardly. So God says, that in all the religions, inward change is important, not the outward change. So here too, God says that you have to imbibe divine qualities and divine powers. Only then can you do every karma as per your dharma. It doesn't mean that if you are wearing any of your religious clothing and you are doing any kind of karma, that means you become very religious. God says no, it's the thinking, it's the words and it's the way you act is very important. We'll explore that in a minute. So let's see, Baba says, while doing, performing karma, let your dharma, that is your dharna, inculcation also be complete. What does that mean? Let's explore. Then by your having a proper balance of dharma and karma, the impact will be greater. Let it not be that you remember your dhar dharna after you have performed your karma. That means you're doing some karma, but while doing that karma, you were irritated. You were getting jealous of somebody or you are getting getting completely disturbed by somebody's actions or somebody's words and you were revolting and you were screaming and you were shouting upon that person or ordering that person to do something or maybe you were getting jealous and you were getting jittery because of which or you were being fearful then all that karma which you are doing as per God is not in dharma or in the right form of dharma how about having patience and tolerance, having humility, having love for every soul and understanding that every soul's part is role is different and nobody is right and nobody is wrong. We are just for some time on this earth to spend some time and then we will go away. So why to blame anybody? Why to find out any faults in other people? So God says, if you're doing your karma with all that fault finding, with all that cribbing and crying and hooting and all that cursing, and all that angry words and angry tone, then that is not your dharma. Even if you are somebody outwardly who is very religious looking, but inwardly you are not dharmic or you are not religious at all as per God the Father. So then God says, let it not be that you remember your dharma after you have performed your karma. That once you have done your karma, you are like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I shouldn't have spoken so harshly. Oh, I shouldn't have shouted at that person. Oh, I should have been a little humble. Why did I feel jealous while doing that work? That is not the right balance between dharma and karma. So God says, when there is a proper balance of both of these in your intellect, you will then be said to have an elevated and a divine intellect under God's eyes. In his eyes, you'll have a divine intellect when you're following a balance between karma and dharma. Now, what are those virtues? What are those values which one needs to have? You can have a look at it in the description down below. Click on the link, you'll find all the 36 qualities and the 8 powers a soul needs to enact their karma with. <clears throat> if you are enacting your karma with those qualities and those powers, then every karma is in your dharma. It's balanced then. So, otherwise, your intellect would be ordinary like anybody else like we see in the world people are shouting around people are bossing around people are cribbing around people are screaming about and making other people do their work and all whether it be a household whether it be an office that is not dharma so then baba says your intellect will be ordinary 
your karma would be ordinary and your dharna also ordinary so what's the what's the benefit even if i'm going to the temple if i'm going to mosque if i'm even if i'm going to the masjid if i'm going to the gurdwara doesn't matter those are those outwardly things it doesn't mean that you stop doing that but what it means is that the change has to be within not just showing outside so god says you must not have equality you must not have equality in being ordinary don't have equality in being ordinary means don't be like everybody else that i want to be like this i want to be like that person i want to feel powerful by getting them do the work i want to feel powerful that people listen to me baba says those methods like ordinary methods which everybody is using in this world is not going to make you a religious being in god's eyes it's going to be a failure in the long term maybe you'll succeed in getting the work done in the short term but in the long term in god's eyes you have failed so god says you must not have equality in being ordinary but equality in greatness just as your karma is elevated so your dharna also has to be elevated so karma is elevated only when the dharna or what we imbibe the qualities and the powers have to be elevated have a look again in the link down below in the description box at the eight powers and all the qualities which one needs to use to do the right karma in the right dharma i leave you with this beautiful vardhan have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti Thank you.